Hello, this is Leonardo, and in this video I wanted to show you the updates to Lateralus and Vortex. So these updates uh, are, are under the hood updates, so nothing has changed externally. And, and I guess that for most of the people it will be very difficult uh, to hear what's the difference between the, the previous versions and the new one. But yeah, trust me, there is a lot of difference in, internally. And so, so in order in order to to explain you how how the how they are different, I guess that I first need to tell you how how the how lateralus and vortex are are made. So basically, uh, what I do is actually I I do. Analog an analog modeling and simulation, and that's that's part of my of my day job as well. I develop a, a simulator and and I and I do uh, mathematical models. So when I started doing the the boot modules, it was just uh, as, as a side project for me. It's it's my it's my passion, the the music and the synthesizers. So I decided to to apply the skills that that I that I have been practicing professionally for a long time and in in, in order to get uh, like this uh, uh, synthesizers uh, in these virtual models of synthesizer that, that I wanted to listen so what I start doing uh, I usually go into, into schematics and then trying to study for example this one is it's it's a it's a ladder filter and there are Many different implementations. For example, this one has the diodes here, uh, and it has and uses a, a it's an operational amplifier here for the output stage. This one, for example, uh, it uses transistors, and it has a, a, a discrete uh, amplifier here made with transistors, and this one is also uses transistor and. We, and we can see here that there is a, a an operational amplifier. So, in order to model this, the the easiest way okay, let's not call it easiest the the most straightforward way of doing it, you can go to a to a electrical simulator like some uh, of the Spice family, P Spice, LT Spice, NG Spice. There are many many of them. And then you can start like dragging the components and connecting them in order to create the circuit. And then you can just press the simulate button and then you are gonna get the, the simulation results. And that will be like the worst, the worst way of doing it. Why? Because the spy simulator is not a, is not a simulator that is made for uh, computing uh, quickly your your model it's made for for analyzing what happens inside of, of a circuit so usually what spy is gonna do is gonna calculate the, the current through every component that you see here and and some components like the operational amplifier here it, it's a, it's a collection of other components and the models of the transistors can be very very detailed so the spice simulator is not the best way of doing it definitely it's far from 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 being that one so what's possible to do is is to to analyze this circuit and try to simplify it for example uh, in the ladder circuit the the basic concept is that, that you have four filters in, in cascade for low pass filters of one pole and by changing the the, the location of the pole uh, you can you, you, you change the the, the, the total uh, cut of frequency and then you take just the output signal and and, and and it will be this one and then feed it back to the circuit to the input and then you have the resonance so if, if you go exactly to, to the to the uh, to this uh, how, how to call it like, like very simplified theoretical model 
what you end up is is with a filter that may sound nice, uh, but is but is it it may sound also a little bit cold. For example, this is a, a simple graph that I made, and on the on the on x axis we have the amount of detail that we put to the model, and on the y axis we have a, a representation on, on how fast the model will run. As I mentioned before, SPICE models are very detailed, but at very, very slow, so we cannot achieve a very large speed. And on the other side, we can get a very simple digital uh, model that can be linear, let's say. And this model is going to be super fast because it will require very few operations, but it's not going to be detailed at all. So, like many... I mean, it's, it's, this is not bad. It's, it's, there are many filters which are quite uh, nice sounding. For example, if we if we think on equalizers, digital equalizers and stuff like that, th these are made with linear digital filters and they, they sound good. But they don't have... A, for me, uh, it's like these filters do not have like, this personality that makes them unique. So... For every model that I make, I start uh, somewhere here, let's say. I have a very detailed model that uh, that does not run very fast. And then I start uh, trying to get that detailed model uh, up, so make it faster, but without losing too much detail. And in principle, there's, there's a theoretical limit here. Which is uh, is like this uh, barrier. This is called the the Pareto front. So what this is telling you is that if you if you want uh, you cannot have a model that is super detailed and that runs extremely fast. You always have to make a compromise, and and the best compromise that you will that you can find. It's going to be somewhere around here. So you may have a model with less detail, uh, with a slightly less detail, and then that runs much faster. And if you reduce the detail a little bit more, it goes faster, and and then reach a point in which uh, there is no uh, like large benefit uh, by throwing away the detail. So most, most of the filters you're going to find them in this area. Not very detailed uh, with uh, good simulation speed. And one of one example of this is it's uh, Stabile, which is one of my filters uh, that I developed uh, with the idea of, of having a very fast filter, very simple filter, and that I was actually running on on microcontrollers with no floating point operation. So it it will be in this area. It sounds good. It it's very useful. But it's not it's not detailed. It's not detailed. Other filters like like tangents. Uh, in my process of development, I start uh, like throwing away details until until I until I feel that that the details. Uh, I mean, I I remove details in order to achieve better speed, uh, but without sacrificing uh, the sound. So I, I usually stop where I think that it sounds good. But sometimes uh, I have models that, that are quite good models, uh, but I, that, that I cannot execute fast or faster. And that was the, the case of Vortex. I, I had a very nice model of it and, it, and it just cannot run faster. So what I, what I what I did it was uh, like keep keep doing research trying to find different uh, methods of, of solving the, the set of differential equations and also uh, rather than using uh, uh, general differential equation solvers I start I start to develop in my own that are very very uh, target to solve this this kind of, of uh, circuits that I have here, so it's a it's a very custom simulator. Uh, in in some of my models like Vesec, Vortex, Caudal, they are practically mini simulators 
that are uh, written specifically to solve that problem as fast as possible. So in the case of Vortex and, and also Lateralus, uh, my change, it was something in, the, in this, in this uh, region. I had something, I have a model that is very detailed and in and by lots of mathematical tricks a little bit of, of, of better coding uh, i could move this model from from that was detailed very detailed to to make it execute faster so i'm moving it in more into this region and that's well that's what i can say about it uh, well the, the only thing that matters is how it sounds at the end so I'm gonna give you a quick demo here I have the, the new models lateralus and vortex let's listen to to vortex so the previous model sounded good but this one if you have like very picky ears you are gonna feel the difference so this is how it sounds, how it sounds. If we increase a little bit the resonance. This is still something that you can achieve with a, with a simpler model. So when it does get interesting is when you increase the drive. Let me lower the volume a bit. Increase the drive and then starts distorting. Let's increase the resonance. Maybe on YouTube is not is not the best. Uh, the best audio compression algorithm but uh, when you have like this much resonance and you start getting into this region the, the new filter it sounds super smooth it keeps keeps the uh, like the essence of, of the of the of the real circuit so if for those who have the real circuit uh, i mean this is something that is that is familiar very familiar that vortex reproduces or this model of vortex and now let's listen to lateralus so again we're in the let's call it in the boring boring region let's increase the resonance so here as well there is uh, a Compared to the old one, there will be no, not much difference. If we start increasing the drive, the sound, uh, the way it sounds now is, is super smooth. this kind of uh, uh, like screaming sound but it's but it's it, it screams nice it screams nice it, it, i have here other filters that do not scream <laughs> that have a kind of uh, angry baby screaming but this one i think it's quite nice <laughs> Repeat, you, you have to, to listen to this by yourself, you need to make this test by yourself because the audio in YouTube is not gonna be very good. Well that's basically it. I encourage you to, to try the new the new implementations. The oh, I forgot to mention yeah they have a second implementation based on a, on a different circuit. Yeah, sounds different, sounds cool. And I guess that it's just a matter of taste to decide which one to use. 
I like both. Wow. Uh, yeah, try it by yourself. The the free version of the models comes only with the DF model of Lateralus. Uh, the premium package you can enable the the second model. And Vortex is part of the premium package. And yeah, if you want to keep receiving updates on the modules, just subscribe to this channel. And also, yeah, try them by yourself. Experiment with them. Uh, try different oscillators. I always use Vesic because I like it a lot. And if, and if you have uh, videos or something, I, I'm always really happy to, to see them. And yeah, send it, send it to me. Goodbye.